Okay, so this um, problem says the following pictures represent uh, solutions that contain a weak acid, which we call HA, and uh, its conjugate base, H, or A minus, okay? So potentially they have these things in them, and you can see that in the picture. Um, which of the solutions are buffer solutions is the first question. Okay, so remember what we uh, have to have in order to have a buffer solution. We have to have a mixture of HA and A minus, its conjugate base, okay, or the salt of its conjugate base, which the cations aren't being represented in these pictures. But anyway, so um, when we're looking at these different representations, in order to have a buffer solution, we have to have this present and this present, okay? So if I look here, I only see HA present. So I would say that this is not a buffer solution, okay? But in this case, right, I see HA and A minus present. So it's a solution that has um, some of the concentration of HA and some concentration of A minus. So that would be considered a buffer solution. Okay, so let's write that down. So this is not a buffer. This is a buffer. And what about the other one? It's also a buffer. Yeah, it's also a buffer. For the same reason, right? Mm -hmm. So we see A minus and HA both present. Okay, the next question asks, well, which of these buffers has the highest buffer capacity? Okay, and if do you recall what we said about buffer capacity in our lecture? That the one... Higher concentration. Yeah, the higher concentration. Okay, so we want the, um, the one that has uh, equivalent amounts of the acid and its conjugate base, or close to equivalent amounts, that gives us a good buffer and the one with the highest concentration of those two things, right? So, which one would have the high, highest buffer capacity? The one in the middle. The one in the middle, right? Why? Because if we count, right, one, two, three, four, five, six A minuses, one, two, three, four, five, six HAs, right? Mm -hmm. So, six and six, and here we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so, this one's more concentrated than this one, so this has the highest buffer capacity. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what does buffer capacity mean? Remember, it's like resistance to pH change. Okay, so if I add um, acid or base, this one will take longer to change the pH than this one will. And of course, this one wouldn't have any buffer capacity yet. Okay? Mm -hmm. Questions? Mm -mm. Okay, good.